and a great noise gone blast through the heavens. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's Jesus. When the world look up, there's Jesus is there. That's right. You ain't going to have time to redo nothing. Preacher ain't going to have time to correct nothing. Because the boss is going to come. When the boss come, everything that have not lined up 100% to the holy standard of God, yeah. you're going to be judged. That's right. Huh? That's right. My God, man, I'm laboring to escape the judgment to come. Amen. That's why when the word of God is preached, sit in judgment on yourself. Amen. And whatever you're not up to, ask God to help you to come up to it. That's right. All right, son. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. Prayer is not before humility. Mm -hmm. Humility is before prayer. That's right. Then what? And seek my face. Humble yourself. Pray. pray. Seek our faces. Seek my face. No, see the face of the Trinity. Seek my face. You're looking for too many faces. <laughs> That's right. Look at the way the Europeans have made Trinity. And they got it all in your church. Yeah. You see them in your church? Oh, yeah. They always make the father an old white man with a beard. Then they make the son a little blind hair, blue eye, pudgy kneed baby <laughs> with blind hair with little curly locks. That's right. And they always make the Holy Ghost a white bird. Mm -hmm. That's no more Trinity than I'm many Mo and Jack. Amen. That's a, that's a bundle of trash for hell. That's right. The Europeans conjured that lie. Yeah. Thank God and the message that don't come from Europe but come from heaven, mm -hmm. it'll blast that lie back to hell from which it come. That's right. All right. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves. One. And pray. Then pray. And seek my face. Seek the face of one. And turn. Wait a minute. Turn from what? From their wicked ways. When you humble yourself and you're praying and you want something from God because you're seeking his face, what do I got to be doing? Turn from their wicked ways. You got to be making an effort to make a change. Turn. That's right. You don't humble yourself. Yeah. You're seeking the Lord. Yeah. You're praying. Mm -hmm. Now I got to be doing something. Turn from their wicked ways. I may, not, I may not stop all my wrong overnight, but Lord, I'm making an effort. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Huh? Turn. I'm making an effort, Hallelujah. I said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm turning. From their wicked ways. You got to turn. That's right. Oh, That's take right. God, you got to turn. Hallelujah. And when I'm turned, I'm starting to lay aside, slowly but surely, every weight of sin. That's right. That do it so easily beset us so I can run this race with patience. Looking, hallelujah. hallelujah. Looking after Jesus. That's right. Glory to God, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. So when I'm turning from what? From their wicked ways. I got to turn from what? From their wicked ways. Amen. While I'm turning, I, I, I'm going to lay down them cigarettes. Yeah. Turning. Turning. Turning from the beer bottle. Mm -hmm. Turning from the club. That's right. Turning from partying. Turning from a man wearing a dress of a woman. Mm. Turning for a woman out here with pants hugging her body, advertising what God made her. That's right. I'm turning from their wicked way. All right, California, God wants you to turn. turn. You can play church until Go Jesus ahead, comes. Go Glory to God, but you better turn from their wicked turn. way. Turn! Turn, hallelujah! Turn around, I say. Turn. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everything got to turn. From their wicked ways. Everybody. Everybody. Hallelujah. Everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody. That's it. Go and take God. Go and take God. Hallelujah. You must turn. Turn from their wicked ways. Holy Ghost wants you to turn. Turn from their wicked ways. You got to turn from that second wife. That's right. Turn from that second husband. Hallelujah. Turn. Hallelujah. Turn from their Holy wicked God. ways. What is that? Turn from their wicked ways. You got to turn. Turn. Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. That's why they love the false churches. Hallelujah. You ain't got to turn from nothing. That's right. When you turn, turn. You, are, you, are, you are lay down that earring. Yes, you will. You are turn from those fake fingernails. That's right. You are turn from that lipstick. That's right. You are turn from that fake hair. Yes. You are turn from all of it. Turn. Turn from their wicked ways. 
Bible said, turn from your wicked ways. Then what? Then will I hear from heaven. Then God will answer me. And will forgive their Hallelujah. sin. Hallelujah. Huh? Amen. God will answer then me. Hallelujah. Then will I hear from heaven. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to take God is Hallelujah. Here. Hallelujah. And hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. God say, I'll forgive you. And will heal their land. Glory to Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God's Hallelujah. God's Hallelujah. I'll heal you. I'll hear from heaven. Hallelujah. Thank God to God. They hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin. Uh, everything. Everything. Hallelujah. Got to turn. Turn from their wicked ways. The government of America got to turn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. The whole state of turn, California turn from their got to ways. turn. That's right. They got to turn from turn. same sex marriages. Yes. Huh? Hallelujah! Holy God! Go ahead, man. Must turn! Go ahead! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Shall turn! Turn from their wicked ways! Or take God from their wicked ways! Then! Hallelujah. Hallelujah! He said, Then! Then will I hear from heaven! Every preacher! Hallelujah! Must turn! Turn! Go ahead! Got to turn from the Baptist! Go ahead! Go turn ahead. from the non denominational! Hallelujah! Turn. turn from the Pentecostal! Go ahead, brother! Turn! Uh, from their wicked ways! Hallelujah! Take God on Hallelujah! Life. Hallelujah! Uh, what the Holy Ghost said? Turn from their wicked ways! Everything! Everything! Hallelujah! Turn from the United Pentecostal. That's right. Turn from the PAW. That's right. Turn from the so-called apostolics. Hallelujah. Turn. Turn. From their wicked ways. Hallelujah. God said if you turn, then what did he promise? Then will I hear from heaven. Then? Then. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said I'll hear from heaven. Hallelujah. I will Glory forgive their sin. God said then I'll forgive you. And will heal their land. And I'll heal your land. Now mine eyes shall be open. Now, now, now shall mine eyes be open. Shall opened. my eyes be open. And mine ears attend. And my ears attend. Unto the prayer that is made in this place. Do you hear that? Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank the Lord. God said, He'll heal you. And God said, He'll heal you. Sacramento, California. God wants you to turn. Turn from their wicked ways. Stop your gang banging. Stop your drinking. Stop your partying. Stop your lying. Stop your swearing. Hallelujah. Get away from the blood. Go ahead. Get away from the crypts. Go ahead, man. Get away from the gangster disciples. Go ahead, brother. Turn. Turn. Turn from their wicked ways. Get away from MS-13. Hallelujah. Turn. Turn. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Go ahead. Every gang banger must stand before God. That's right. Every religion on the earth must stand before God. That's right. You preachers that have been leading the people wrong, Hallelujah. you must stand, stand before God. That's right. Hallelujah. Over to God. Over to God. If my people, if Hallelujah. my people, if my people which are called by my Hallelujah. name, thank God, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Shall humble, hallelujah. humble themselves. Shall humble themselves. And pray. And pray. And seek my face. Or to God and seek my face. And turn from their wicked ways. Turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. Don't you want God to hear you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then will I hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. God said he'll forgive you. And will heal but their But if you land. want God to forgive you, Amen. you got to humble yourself. Humble themselves. Hallelujah. Don't go to God like you so big. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Your money don't impress God. Oh, no. Your house don't impress God. No, no. Your car don't impress God. Hallelujah. Your wife, your husband, your bank account, that don't impress God. No, no. When you die, nigga, you came here. That's right. Nigga, that's the way you're going. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. If my people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Go back to the book of Corinthians, son. Back in 1 Corinthians 4. Everybody all right? Yes, Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26. God is not impressed with what nobody has. Hallelujah. You ain't got more than him. No, no. He owned the world. Oh, yes. Bible said the earth is the Lord. That's right. And the fullness thereof. That's right. Eh? Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. You men out here fighting and killing and cussing. Think of it. You killed each other over a corner. Yeah. And neither one of you owned the corner. That's true. <laughs> That's right. You drug dealers. Go ahead. Go ahead. You'll kill someone's son. Yeah. But you forgot your Lord says you will reap what you sow. What you sow. What you sow. Here you kill someone's son. Yeah. And then God lets someone kill your son. That's right. You gang rape someone's daughter. Go ahead. And then your daughter is gang raped. Yeah. Oh, yes. You will reap what you sow. What you sow. Oh, yes. The whole world needs to repent today. Amen. Eh? Amen. The whole world. Repent. Needs to repent. repent. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's right. Everything need to repent and get on God's side. Amen. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord fill you with the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit. That's right. What did the Apostle Paul say in the book of Corinthians? Son? How is it then, brother? Give chapter and verse again. Back in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26. Let's finish up praying with the Spirit. Back in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 15. Listen. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. Pray with the Spirit. Now, let's give a broader understanding of what Spirit means. Spirit means. Spirit is not only the nature of God, right. for the Bible said God is a spirit. Yes. Spirit is the nature of God, and spirit is the speech of God. That's right. For Jesus said, the words yes. that I speak unto you, they are spirit, yes. and they are life. So the Bible says what? What is it then I will pray with the spirit? I have to pray with the spirit. So mm -hmm. that means when I say anything to God, I must pray with, with the spirit. That mm -hmm. means anything that come out of my mouth must agree with what God said. That's right. I cannot ask God for something that contradict the word. Yeah. Ain't no need for me to thank God done sent me a second wife. My first wife is still living. No. God ain't sent no one to help me to commit adultery. That's right. Eh? That's right. Thank God I have to pray with, with, with the, spirit. the spirit and. And I will pray with the understanding also. I got to understand what I'm asking for. That's right. What else? I will sing with the spirit. I will sing with the spirit. The, the lyrics of my song. Yeah must be according to the word of God. That's right. Eh? That's right. I can sing a lie. That's like I can tell one. Yeah. I have to sing with the spirit. And, and I will sing with the understanding also. I got to understand and make sure my lyrics don't contradict the word of God. Amen. For years they sung lies just like they told them. Yeah. This little light of mine. That's an insult to God. That's God nice. ain't no little light. No. God said he's the light of the world. That's right. <laughs> eh? That's right. Light of the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're getting what I'm telling you. So you must evaluate the lyrics of your song and make sure it don't contradict yeah. what's written in the book of scriptures. That's right. All right. I will sing with the spirit. Sing with the spirit. And I will sing with the understanding and also. And I must have an understanding. All right, let's go back to where we were so we can knock off. Back in 1 Corinthians Everybody 14. all right? Listen. Back in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26. Uh -huh. How is it then, brother? How is it then, brother? When ye come together. Amen. All the preachers in Sacramento, they need to get on board the truth of God train. Oh, yes. Amen. All of them, they claim they believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and claim you believe in the Holy Ghost. How in the world you got so much new birth and then you want to walk with part of the word? Yeah, part of it. The eh? Bible said put on the full armor of God. Armor. You don't find a man going out to war with a rifle in his drawers. <laughs> Amen. Eh? Amen. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh. It's time to go to battle you out there in your 
boxers, and a rifle. Amen. Man, the enemy may look at you and laugh. He may give not even shoot you. <laughs> Glory to God, what did he say? How is it then, brethren, when you come together? When you come together. Every one of you hath a song. Amen. That's why I'm compelled. You pray for your brother, Pastor Jenner, because I have a calling on me that God put on me. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't do like a lot of fellas claim they did, got on their knees and begged God to give them the word. I never did that. Mm -hmm. Amen. The God of heaven appeared to me many years ago and made me a preacher. Amen. Never been to Bible school in my life. God revealed himself to me. That's right. Opened up my understanding to the word of God and sent me to preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sent me to preach to the world. Yes. Gave me a gospel. Then gave me an understanding of the gospel. Yeah. Amen. And took every drop of fear I ever had mm -hmm. out and I only fear God and God only. Amen. And I'm encouraging every man, every woman. I'm warning by God's help, every man and every woman, come over here with God. That's right. Come on and walk with God word. That's right. There's no need to claim you're saved just to die and go to hell later. Yeah. My God, man, the churches, it's like one individual testified here and said that when they was going to church, to church, to church, to church, they knew it was more than what they saw. Mm. And it is more. My God, man, it's a whole lot more. Mm. There's so much more until you need God to help you to do this thing right. That's right. Real quick. Every one of you has a song. Every one of you have a song. Has a doctrine. Have a doctrine. Has a tongue. Have a tongue. Has a revelation. Let's talk about tongues, you know. Yeah. Now, <coughs> there are three tongues. Get me. You had the tongue of men, the tongue of angels, and you had the Holy Ghost. That's right. Tongue of men. That's right. The tongue watch, of man. angels. Listen, listen at this. First Corinthians 13, and we're starting at verse 1. Yeah. Though I speak with the tongues of men. Hold it. Speaking with the tongues of men mean this. Speaking with the tongues of men is when he tells you something from an educational perspective. Yeah. You know, a lot of preachers get up and quote history. But the mistake they make, they don't tell the people, this is not in the Bible. That's it. So a lot of history people are hearing in churches, and they are assuming that it's in the Bible. Yeah. And if a preacher is going to bring you history, fine. But tell the people before you bring it, what I'm about to say is not in the Bible. That's right. That way, people don't assume that what you're teaching is Bible. That's right. Are we, are we, are we clear? Amen. Because a lot of this stuff that folks are jumping and howling about, it's not in no Bible. No. It's history. Mm -hmm. And history, as you know and I know, change as the years change. Mm -hmm. But God, he never changed. That's right. Eh? All right. Though I speak with the tongues of men. Though I speak with the tongues of men. And of angels. Oh, of angels. angels. Now. Speaking with the tongues of angels, the word angel means messenger. There's two kinds of angels. Or should I say three kinds of angels? There's an angel that's in heaven. There's an angel that was put out of heaven. There's an angel that's born. That's right. What you mean the angel that's born? An angel means messenger. The apostle taught how you can attain angels unaware, meaning you can attain, you can be in the presence of a man of God and you don't even realize it. That's right. He's an angel of God or a messenger of God. That's what is meant in the first chapter of the book of Revelation when uh, John the apostle, he was there and saw seven golden candlesticks in front of the throne, around the throne. The seven golden candlesticks represent the seven churches of Asia. Then John said, I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne seven stars. Right hand mean power. Star mean messenger. Think of it. The angel is the star of God because he reflects the light of God. A natural star in the heavens reflects the sun. You don't see the sun because it's dark. But you see the reflection of the sun by the shining of the stars. The preacher is supposed to reflect God when he's among a dark people. Right. I don't mean a dark people as a race, but I mean a dark people as being in sin. He's supposed to reflect the light of God, and the light of God is the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, the understanding of God to pull you from darkness to the light. That's right. Do you understand? Amen. 
a lot of preachers have taught for years. God start dealing with you when you come to the truth. Uh -uh -uh -uh. God start dealing with you before you come. Before you come. God start dealing with you when you're in the darkness. That's right. And then from the darkness, He bring you to the truth. That's right. That's right. That's right. Then spake Solomon. Listen at this. In First Kings chapter eight and at verse twelve. Then spake Solomon. The Lord said. The Lord said that He would dwell. He would dwell in thick darkness. The thick darkness, the worst form, the greatest form of thick darkness is self ignorance. You know, there are some religions teach to come, you, the, when you come into the knowledge of self, then you come into the knowledge of God. You got it backward. Mm -hmm. You come into the knowledge of God first, and then God will bring you to the knowledge of yourself. That's right. You will never know the real you until you come into the knowledge of God. That's right. You're not even a real man until you walk with God. Amen. You've never been a real woman until you obey God. That's right. When God get a hold of that woman and get a hold of that man, he transformed them to be what they never was. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Tongues of men, wisdom of the world. Mm -hmm. Tongues of angels, angels, got a message in his mouth. That's right. Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Well, that's when you receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue like you did on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem. That's right. All right, let's go back so we can knock off some. Real how, quick. How is it that... Back in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26. How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have a song, hath have a doctrine, doctrine, hath a tongue, have a tongue, hath a revelation. Now, let, let, again, let me say this in reference to speaking in tongue. When you speak in tongue, you should not be in no church, and I want you to judge yourself when you're in a church. And a preacher can tell everybody, stand up. When I count to three, the Holy Ghost is going to fall. One. Everybody gets set. Two. <laughs> <laughs> And I say three, you're going to speak. Three. Look, get that trash out of your mouth. That's right. Holy Ghost is God. Amen. So please tell me, what man got so much power over God mm. that he can turn God on and turn God off? That's right. You forgot the language of the book on the day of Pentecost. They was all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as what? As the Spirit gave them utterance. As who do it? Spirit gave them utterance. Who's responsible? As the Spirit gave them utterance. So that means no preacher can count the three and you shoot off a tongue like you a rocket scientist. That's right. Getting your mouth ready, one, <laughs> two. <laughs> You know, like Benny Hinn, them be doing. Just blow on you. Everybody fall out. fall out. Come on now. You ought to know better than that. That's right. That junk is no more real than an Easter bunny taller than Empire State Building. Amen. Amen. Huh? Let me blow on folk. You don't find them moving. <laughs> they look at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My God, man, God is real, family. When you got the Holy Ghost from heaven, like they did on the day of Pentecost, it will deal with you when God chooses to, where God chooses to. Yeah. The Holy Ghost never deal with no one and the actions of that person contradicts God's everlasting word. That's right. Holy Ghost don't behave itself unseemly. You ain't going to speak in tongue when you feel like it. No. Oh, I think I'm going to speak today. Shalababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
Listen at this. Every one of you has a revelation. They got a revelation. If God reveals something to you, it will never contradict God's word. No. That's why we labor by God's permission to break down scriptures and teach so people can have a better understanding. And when your understanding come open, you're going to look at church different. That's one of the things I thank God for, the truth of God's message. Anyone that's been exposed to it, they never look at church the same. Amen. Never. And I find it interesting when I hear different testimonies of the different ways people ran up on it. And most people said he wasn't looking for it. They never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Talked to a man last night. He said, uh, he, said, I don't, he said, I was outside grilling. <laughs> and I had the, the, some blues and some jazz playing on my phone, on YouTube. And he said, you came up. He said, I was listening to blues grilling. <laughs> he said, then your face just popped up. Wow. He said, then I turned you on. He said, I forgot all about the blues and forgot all about the jazz. Mm. He said, I never heard nothing like it in my life. This is a life changer. It is the last day move of God Amen. that's taking place all around the world. It's the last days. It's a great move of God. Yeah. Where God is sending this message out around the world. Look at the amount of people that's getting baptized everywhere. Most men wouldn't baptize that amount if he passed it for 100 years. That's true. This is truly the Lord's doing. Amen. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Amen. What did he say? Every one of you has a revelation. Has a revelation. Has an interpretation. Now, if man will stop trying to interpret things on his own and let God open up his understanding. That's right. It is written. Jesus, when he died and rose, in the 24th chapter of Luke, he said, these are the words that I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures and said unto them, Thus is it written, thus it behoove Christ to suffer and rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sin should be a preach in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. He says, Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. scriptures. Don't try to interpret it on your own. Don't look for Webster to interpret God's word for you. Listen, if the Spirit of God inspired the book, it takes the Spirit of God to give you the understanding of what he inspired. That's right. That's why the Bible said all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, instruction, and righteousness that the man of God may be perfect Thoroughly furnished under all good work. You can read the Bible all day. Yes, you, can. <laughs> you can read it all day. But unless you have someone that God sent to give you an understanding of the letter, yeah. the eunuch was reading in the eighth chapter of Acts. Yeah. Philip asked, do you understand what you read? The eunuch said, how can I except some man guide me? And the eunuch went to the same scripture and preached Jesus. Philip. Or rather, Philip. Beg your pardon. Philip went to the same scripture right. and preached Jesus to the eunuch. That's right. And the eunuch said, here's water. What will hinder me to be baptized? Yeah. He said, if thou believest that Jesus Christ is the son of God, thou mayest. Yes. Right. God, he unloaded up that chariot and they both went into the water That's right. and got baptized. Hmm. That's what everything here might as well do. Yeah. Get out your chariot. What's your chariot is that? Your car. <laughs> Unload. Unload. When you die, you're going to leave it behind. Everything you got down to your old slippers. When you die, they're going to be still sitting on the side of the bed. Your robe going to be laying over the chair. Your suit going to be in the closet. Yeah. And you won't be able to correct nothing. No sin that you didn't repent for will you have the opportunity when you die. That's right. It's time now to get right with God. That's right. Don't look at yourself being young and say you got a lot of time. Because if you look at the way things are going now, it seems like the young people are dying more than the old folk. Amen. The streets of America is getting worse and worse. 
the violence, the hatred, the structures of the home have fell apart. Churches have become more and more worldly and more clubbish. And they are more interested in entertaining you than saving you. That's right. We're going back to the old landmark. So we can be right in the eyes of Almighty God. That's right. 